Did you know that great apes are routine nest builders? Chimpanzees, bonobos, gorillas and orangutans? All of them? Every day they build at least one nest at the beginning of the night to have a bed. Their often heavy body requests it. Construction takes about two to three minutes. Children have to learn it. Mothers are their teachers. Groups spend the night together in night camps. Like in the case of human dwellings, the inside is protected by rigid outside control. During about 45 years of his life, each individual builds one nest every night for his or her comfortable sleep. If we would put this amount of nests virtually on top of each other, this would make a tower of about 11 times the height of the Eiffel Tower in Paris. But primatologists do not think this is important. They are looking through the wrong glasses. They are focused on man the toolmaker, cracking nuts or ant fishing as culture. What a poor reasoning. It's not routine behavior. It is much too simple to be considered as protoculture. On the other hand, nest building is highly complex, related to the whole way of great apes' individual and social life. The hand is the first tool. We humans still use it. Building, basketry, textiles, etc. The nest is a stable construction built by an ingenious engineer. There are two main types, tree nests in arboreal space, the traditional vertical landscape of apes. Nest stability is guaranteed by trees, the newer type, ground nests in terrestrial space. Movement is horizontal, like among humans. Ground nests are constructed with rooted materials, stable triangles are knotted, stability is invented by the constructor, architecture is born. Very likely it is the place where the body got used to vertical position. Are humans walking upright because we were born as constructors, as terrestrial nest builders, as nest architects? This short video is the beginning of a new series which offers new ways to look at the human condition, culture as evolution of construction and habitat. Orang Utan on top of a betel palm building his nest. His face shows great excitement and intelligence. Photo by Brenda Moore. The same activity shown here in the form of drawings. Drawing of Goodall. In the 60s, several primatologists studied construction types of nests. This is a sketch of cross pieces intertwined for a ground nest. Goodall. Fabrication of ground nests using rooted bamboo stalks intertwined near the ground or in a certain height. The drawing is not very accurate. Volvic. Structure of six different chimpanzee nests according to Izawa Itani. Note the considerable differences. Photograph of 10 chimpanzee nests in two closely located trees. Nissen. A typical tree nest supported by a thick branch, according to Nissen. Chimpanzee builds nest in tree, according to Goodall van Lavik. Five sketches of typical positions of chimpanzees in nest, according to Goodall. Goodall observed a chimpanzee during rain in his nest. 
tree nest photograph according to Godal von Lavik. Photograph of chimpanzee sleeping cozily in his nest. Photograph von Lavik Godal. Typical individual nest in tree photographed after chimps left. Nissen. Similarly, typical individual nest in trees photographed by Nissen. View on nest built the night before. It is well upholstered with soft materials. Photo by Nissen. Mother-child relations are shown in differences of nest use through time, according to Kawai Mizuhara. Schematic representation of a group of six gorilla nests in mountain woods, according to constructive types and users. Kawai Mizuhara. Perspective drawing of the author showing gorilla night camp using the plan of Kawai Mizuhara. Same arrangement, evidently there is protected centrality against outside. Mother and baby in central tree nest are protected. Map showing distribution of orang-utan nests in a domain of 6 square kilometers according to McKinnon. Map showing distribution of chimpanzee nests in the domain researched by Isawa Itani. All settlements are close to water. Map of six chimpanzees' home ranges, according to Nishida. They are real nomads, walking more than 10 kilometers a day. A large group of chimpanzees, 50 to 80, during 20 days of nomadism, according to Nishida. Map of 60 mountain gorilla populations north of the Tanganaika Lake. The density may have changed considerably today. Once more the orangutan shown at the beginning of the video. There is great intelligence involved in all that. Recently, Rambo and others have discovered the traffic sign system of Bonobos. But this extremely important sign system using plants will be dealt with later as a prototype of human culture in another video.